welcome friend in the next lecture of several variable calculus in the previous lecture we discuss partial differential equation such as laplace equation wave equation and we saw some example on this in the today's lecture we have to discuss the differentiability and for the discussion of differentiability we need to define some definition like tangent plane linear approximation linear function so first we discuss the few definitions so so we write some definition tangent plane then linear function and linear approximation linear approximation in the like previous lecture or we see the geometrical interpretation of a partial derivatives how we what we see in this that is if we have any function if we have a function z is equal to f of x y is a surface then we find first order partial derivative that is fx at xy and fy at xy by keeping constant y and by keeping constant x respectively then what it represent this is our surface this is our surface z is equal to f of xy this is our z is equal to f of xy then what we have fx if we if we fix y and taking derivative with respect to x that is for fx what we have to fix y and then we get we get what we get a one variable variable function function in x and this is nothing but the curve this is nothing but our curve like this this is nothing but the curve like this c1 and similarly we are getting the second curve this is the c2 and then we find the derivative fx and fy and what is fx and fy fx is the fx is what fx is the it is the slope of the tangent to the curve c1 similarly fy is the slope of the tangent plane to the tangent to the curve c2 that is we are getting a tangent t1 and t1 and t1 and t2 we are getting the t1 and t2 are the tangent to the curve c1 and c2 similarly if you take any at this at this is at point p this is we are taking at point p suppose okay suppose it is p a p and if we find if we find here p a b and this is our z you can say or z is nothing but our f of a b okay so after this what if we uh, take any curve passing through this point p and we are getting the we are getting the tangent to the this this curve also all these tangents all these tangents are lie in a one plane all these tangents lie in a one plane and this plane is called as a is called as a tangent plane this plane is called as a tangent plane okay so tangent plane is a near to the point ab it is or near to the surface at a point p is the plane which contain all the tangent to the curves passing through the point p 
ओके डेफिनेशन दैंजेंट प्लेन टैंजेंट प्लेन टू द सर्फेस सर्फेस z is equal to f of x y z is equal to f of x y is the plane which contains contains all the all the tangent all the tangent to the curve at point p on the surface on the surface the equation of the tangent plane to the graph of the function of two variable of two variable at the point point p of a b f of a b is so what should be the equation z is equal to we can write f of a b plus f x at a b x minus a plus f y at a b y minus b so this is the equation of the tangent plane to the surface z is equal to f of x y okay the graph the function whose graph graph is this tangent plane tangent plane is called is called linear function linear function the function whose graph is this tangent plane is called as the linear function the linearization rization of function is what is linearization l of xy is equal to f of ab plus fx at ab plus x minus a plus fy at ab y minus b this is the linearization of the function f or for the function f the linear approximation and the linear approximation linear approximation is what linear approximation just you have to replace this l of xy by xy and this is a linear approximation so write down the sign of approximation and just write down again a same rhs side f of ab plus fx at ab uh, x minus a plus fy at ab x minus uh, y minus b this is the linear rhization or linearization and linear approximation now we define a differentiables differentiability now we will we discuss the differentiability for one variable function for one variable function we know suppose y is equal to f of x y is equal to f of x then if x changes x changes from a to the a plus delta x x changes from a to the delta x then 
the change in y change in y or increment increment in y is so what is increment in y it is denoted by delta y it is equal to delta y is equal to f of a plus delta x minus f of a minus what f of a we can write okay similarly in the similar manner we can write for the we can write for the two variable function for two variable function two variable function what we consider y is uh, here z is equal to f of x y now here x y are the independent variable they can take any values so suppose so what we can say suppose x changes x changes from a to a plus delta x and and what y y changes y changes from b to the a b plus delta y b plus then the increment increment in y in z is delta z and is and is defined define as or how we write increment delta z delta z is equal to what f of a plus delta x and b plus delta y minus what f of ab f of ab what it represent what it represent what it represent this delta y is change change in f when x changes changes from from a to a plus a plus delta x similarly what this again delta z is change in the value of a when when what x y this x y changes changes from from what a b to a b to a plus delta x b plus delta y okay so this is the change in or increment in z and increment for one variable and two variable we are defined now we define the definition for differentiability of f for of function f of two variable of two variable so what is definition z is equal to f of x y then the function function f is differentiable is differentiable at a point a b at a point a b if delta z can be expressed as in the form as in the form delta z is equal to fx at ab delta x plus fy at ab delta y plus epsilon 1 delta x plus epsilon 2 delta y we are we are what we can write this epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 tends to 0 as as what this delta x delta y tends to 0 0 then what is the definition if differentiability of a function of two variable the function z is equal to f of x or with the function f is differentiable at ab if the z delta z can be written in the form of fx 
a b delta x plus f y a b delta y plus epsilon 1 delta x plus epsilon 2 delta y where epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 tends to 0 as a delta x delta y tends to 0. So, what this definition says the definition definition says that what this says that the function is differentiable the function is differentiable then its linear approximation linear approximation is good approximation it is good approximation when x y near the point a b that means what the function is the function is differentiable then its approximation is a linear approximation is a good approximation near the point a b or in other words in other word we can write the tangent plane plane approximate tangent plane approximate the tangent plane approximate the graph of f well near the point of point of tangency okay so differentiable function then these are the two nodes okay then what we have to write, write necessary and sufficient condition necessary and sufficient conditions for the function is differential or not. So, for the problem solving it is very important. So, first we write first theorem. It is a theorem with doubt proof. So, first we write a necessary condition for differentiability. Okay, so what we can say the function, the function f is differentiable, f is differentiable at point a b, then, then what we can write first f is continuous at a b. And second that is fx and fy both are exist, both are exist. That is if we have to show that the function is not differentiable then you can show, show this function is not continuous or their fx and fy is not Okay, so this is necessary condition that must the function is differentiable then it must be continuous and both the partial derivative must be exist. Then next theorem that is sufficient condition, sufficient condition for differentiability. So, what is sufficient condition? Sufficient condition means if this condition holds then we can say that the function is definitely differentiable. If partial derivatives exist fx and fy exist near a b near point a b and 
and are continuous at a b then f e is differentiable f is differentiable at point a b that means what if there is a function which has a first order partial derivative exist and they are continuous at point a b then definitely we can say that the function f is differentiable at a b so we will take one example on this so we solve one example what is example show that the function f of x y is equal to x e raised to x y is differentiable at 1 0 and find the linearization then use it to approximate f of 1.1 minus 0 0.1 so what is given given f of x y is equal to x e raised to x y so what we have to show that the function is differentiable for this what we have to define what we have which condition we have to use which theorem sufficient condition for the differentiability what is sufficient condition if fx and fy is exist near a b and if they are continuous at a b then definitely we can say that the function is differentiable the function is differentiable so what we can find we find first fx at x y so what is fx at x y it is nothing but what keeping y constant so x into e raised to x y into y plus use the product rule A derivative of x is 1 e raised to x y and it should be it should be what x y e raised to x y e plus e raised to x y now you can find f x at 1 0 it is what 1 into e raised to uh, 1 into 0 into e raised to e raised to what 0 plus plus what e raised to 0 it should be 1 so what you can find f y f y at x y you can find first so here x is constant then what is derivative of e raised to x it is e raised to x y into x this is x square e raised to x y and now what we have to find f y at 1 0 it is equal to what 1 into e raised to 1 square into e raised to 0 it should be 1 therefore what we can say therefore therefore what we can say the both uh, or we can say both the partial derivatives partial derivatives both the partial derivatives fx and fy they are continuous or not fx is equal to xy e raised to xy plus e raised to xy e raised to xy exponential function it is always continuous at each and every point x into y algebraic function product of uh, continuous function is continuous addition of continuous function is continuous therefore this function is continuous everywhere similarly you can write for fy this algebraic function is continuous this exponential function is continuous therefore its product is continuous therefore what we can say that both the partial derivatives exist both the partial derivative exist and, and are continuous are continuous near at continuous at 1 0 hence hence what we can say that f is differentiable f is differentiable at 1 0 that is we use just the sufficient condition for the differentiability now what we have to find find the linearization linearization what is the the linearization linearization of f at a b is linearization near is what it linearization l of x y it is equal to l of x y is equal to what we can write f of a b plus f of f of what f x of a b 
एल ए बी एक्स माइनस ए प्लस वॉट एफ वाई एट ए बी वाई माइनस बी सो वॉट इज आवर ए बी ए बी इज इक्वल टू वन वी हैव वी हैव आवर ए बी इज वन जीरो देर फोर जस्ट पुट द वैल्यू एल ऑफ एक्स वाई इट इज इक्वल टू वॉट एफ ऑफ ए बी f of ab means what you need to find f of 1 0 f of 1 0 is what 1 into e raised to 0 it should be 1 it should be 1 so it is f of 1 0 just put the value then uh, f x and 1 0 uh, x minus a means what 1 plus f y and what 1 0 Into what y minus b means y minus zero. Just write down, put the values. F of one zero. F of one zero is what? It is one plus f x at one zero. F x at one zero is again our one into x minus one plus plus f y at one zero. It is again a. It is again a one into y minus zero. So what should be this? One plus x x minus one plus y, and this should be x plus y. Therefore, L of x y it is equal to x plus y. This is the linearization or linear function for the function f. Then what we have to write? Then the linear approximation, linear approximation is. linear approximation is what linear approximation f x y at uh it is equal to what x plus y x plus y so what we can write here then linearization this is nothing but our what is our f of x y x into e raised to x y is linearly approximate to x plus Why? Okay. And what we have to find? We have to find the linear approximation, or we have to find approximate f of one point one minus zero point one. So what we can write here? F of one point one minus zero point one. Just put the value here, or it is. It should be equal to. It is equal to what? One point one minus. Minus 0.1. This is x and this is y, and it should be. It is equal to what? One. And if you find the actual value, the actual value, value of f at 1.1 minus 0.1. So what we can write? F. Uh, what we can write? F of 1.1. Minus 0.1. It is equal to actual value for actual value. What is our function? It is 1.1 into e raised to 1.1 into what? 0.1. 0.1. It should be minus. It should be minus. And it is approximately or it is equal to the 0.98542. Nine eight five four two, and if you compare this for the values, that is the approximate value and the appro approximate value and the actual value. They are very close. They are very close. Okay, so sim in the similar way we can find the, or we can solve so many problems, or we can show the function is differentiable or. not we will solve more problem in the practical session thank you very much